Hello students. Uh, in this video, we are going to see the topic under for the module 5, which is linear algebra. So last class we have seen for introduction topic uh, about uh, what is meant by matrix. We have done a recalling uh, session of your uh, about matrix, type of matrix and what is the matrix operations which you have learned and also we have seen for inverse of a matrix and we are into the syllabus we have done for the definition the major definitions we have seen for four definitions one is what is mean by elementary transformation which you are using row elementary transformation then we have seen for your equivalent matrix and also we have seen for what is the definition about the echelon form with example and then we have seen how to find the rank of matrix by using a echelon form okay so in this video we are going to see the problem how to find a rank of a matrix by using your row elementary transformation okay so we'll go for the first question find the rank of a following matrix by elementary row transformation so what is given a is equal to 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 5, 1, 1, 3, 4, 5. So, what is that the order of a matrix? The order of a matrix is uh, M cross N which is nothing but 3 rows and 4 columns. So, it is a 3 cross 4 matrix, right? So, now you can see that what is that when you are converting the echelon form, you should remember the conditions first thing make it zero for second row and third row first position and the third uh, third row second positions right so these three you are going to make it zero and keep it your mind what is that the zero row should be below the non-zero rows and all the non-zero row first entry must be one these two conditions you have to check end of the problem okay so once you convert an echelon form then easily we can find a rank of a matrix isn't it so now first thing how we can able to convert this zero so you should remember when you are going to make it the first element of any row that means second row third row or fourth row whatever has been given in the question the first element position the first position of the each element you are going to take it in that particular row to convert zero choose always in the first row and similar to convert zero in the second element of any of the row choose the second row okay clear so it's not like in any of the row that is nothing but third row fourth row like that i have told okay so now what we are going to see the solution so a will be this is called what is that equivalent matrix because we are going to do the row elementary transformation so it will not be a equal you are supposed to use a equivalent matrix the first row we are not going to touch anything it remains same what is that one two three two okay then you can see that second row i'm going to make it zero what is that when you are converting 0 2 is there isn't it to convert 0 I need a minus 2 then it will go automatically this position will be 0 okay so what you can do to make it for uh, this position of uh, uh, 2 I need a minus 2 that's why I has written complete a row first row I am going to multiple with what is that minus uh, minus 2 you are going to multiple with a minus 2 and then you are going to add with the same r2 to get your what is that new r2 so elementary transformation which is second rule we are sorry third rule, uh, rule we are using it so what is that first row completely multiple with minus 2 okay what is that the first element will be minus 2 then minus 2 into r1 right plus r2 plus 2 what is that it will become a 0 clear the next one you have already 2 2 into minus 2 will be minus 4 isn't it so i have a minus 4 and then add it with 3 right plus 3 what is answer answer is minus 1 that is what is written here right so next one what is that 3 is supposed to multiple with minus 2 so it will give minus 3 2s are minus 6 then what is it add with your r2 plus 5 
that answer must be minus 1. Got it? Similar, the next one. 2 twos are 4. 4 plus 1 which will give equal to 5. That is what has been written. Isn't it? Minus 2, sorry, minus 4. And then minus 4 plus 5 will be your minus 3. Sorry. So, you will get for minus 3. So, that is what has written 0, minus 1, minus 1, minus 3. So, we have achieved it 0. We got it in the, what is it? In the second row, first element. Now, you can go for your third row. But it's third row, you have already 1 here. And first row, you can use it as I told. To make it convert 0 for the first element, choose your first row. Right? So, easy to remember it. So, see here, both uh, terms is 1. So, just uh, easy things. What I can do? Just to subtract it. It will become 0. That's what the operation has written. R3. That means new R3 implies how I am going to change it. Minus R1 plus R3. You can get it. 1 minus 1, 0. Then, what is that? Uh, 3. You can write it. You can convert as minus R. You can write it R3 minus R1. It's somewhat simple, isn't it? Instead of going with uh, like this you can write like this also r3 minus r1 it is very simple so 1 minus 1 0 3 minus 2 will be 1 4 minus 3 will be 1 and then 5 minus 2 will be 3 that's all clear so easily you can reach your second row now you can see whether we reach Eclan form no what you have to do again i need to make it this position also will be 0 Okay, so for that I should use your second row. Looking that easily you can identify now new A matrix minus 1 plus 1 is there. Just you can add it, you can get an answer. What is that? First two row will not change anything. Only the third row will change. How it is? It is 1, 2, 3, 2 will be there. 0, minus 1, minus 1, minus 3 will remain same. And then... The next row, what is that? 0 plus 0 will be 0. Minus 1 plus 1 will be a 0. Minus 1 plus 1 will be a 0. Minus 3 plus 3 will be 0. What is that? Completely every terms of element in the third row, it went as 0. So now it will become, see, we have reached it. What is that? Using the operations of R3 implies R2 plus R3, I can get 0, 0, 0, 0. Got it? Now, this is your eclan form, isn't it? What is the two condition you should take? All the zero rows must be below the non-zero row. So, it is there in the below, isn't it? And what is that? All the non-zero rows. So, it's non-zero rows, only two. Entry, first entry must be one. Yeah, it is there. So, now it is reached. What has changed it? Because of minus, minus, minus. I've just multiple with a minus, it become plus. That's it. That is the changes from year to year. Okay, because I should have a first entry must be 1. That's why. Okay, this is 0. There is no entry. Okay, don't conclude it. Uh, don't consider this 0. So, first entry means after the 0. Okay, so now the matrix capital A in the row. What is that? Eclan form. It is in row Eclan form and it's having two non-zero rows. Isn't it? Two non-zero rows I have. So, the rank of matrix must be equal to 2. Clear? Because of number of non-zero rows so you don't have a all the element if you, if you have a zero we will tell it is a zero row at least one entry is there in that particular row also we will call it as an non-zero rows so what we have got it now the rank of a matrix is two clear so we'll go with one more example so here the example finding the rank of a matrix is a is equal to 0, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 5, 4, 4, 8, 13, 12. Okay. So, this is not like in the previous one. Isn't it? The previous one already the first entry is 1. So, easily we did. But here, first entry is 0 is there. Better, we can interchange by using the first elementary transformation. Interchange any two rows. Isn't it? What it is done, the operation R1 is implied, implied back is R2. So, it is interchanged. A implies 2, 3, 5, 4. 0, 2, 3, 4, 4, 8, 13, 12. Okay. So, interchange and remaining uh, third row is remained same. Now, what is that? The second row, first element already it is in 0. So, what you have to do? You have to make it third row, 
first element and second element you are going to convert zero as we have discussed early in the previous question to convert in the first element of your third row you must use your what is that the first row right so now you can going to convert you are going to make it zero of your third row what is that r3 implies what i need i need a minus 4 use your first row means it's 2 is there just you can multiple with a minus 2 that's all so minus 2 into r1 plus r3 you can completely multiple with minus 2 then add with your third row i'll get 0 then you have a 3 uh, sorry 2 3 4 okay so after multiplying that simplifications right so now what is that just you can see that second row and third row both are similar so what is that operations is needed here you can make it the r3 implies what is that r3 what you have to do minus of your r2 that's all you can minus you can able to get it 2 minus 2 will be 3 is 0 3 minus 3 and 4 minus 4 will be 0 so we have reached your eclon form isn't it now you can able to write it the terms 0 0 0 so you can see here as per the eclon form the first row first rule is satisfied but in second rule all the entry of your first element must be 1 right in the non-zero row so for that reason we have divided by 2 of your r1 and r2 so we have reached it 1 3 by 2 5 by 2 2 and 0 1 3 by 2 2 0 0 0 so what is the rank of a matrix it is 2 because 2 non-zero rows so we'll go with a one more example for the problem finding the rank of a matrix capital a is equal to 4 0 2 1 2 1 3 4 2 3 4 7 and 2 3 1 4 here also you can see here the number of row is 4 right number of column is 4 right so what you are going to make it all the first element of this three rows second row third row fourth row you are converting zero by using your first row right again second uh, third row second element fourth row second element you are going to convert zero by you must use your second row since it is in fourth row you are going to convert third element of your fourth row also will be zero okay so we'll go for the solution first thing because of all it is two the first element alone 4 to make it easy what i'm going to do i'm going to interchange your second row to first row first row to second row you can interchange any of the rows okay 2 1 3 4 4 0 2 1 2 3 4 7 2 3 1 4 reminds now to convert 0 as i told it you have to use your first row what is that r2 implies to convert it 0 here it is 4 is there I need a minus 4 so to multiple with the 2 in R1 and subtract with your what is that R2 you can able to get R2 minus 2 R1 you will get answer 0 minus 2 minus 4 minus 7 got it and what is the next one R3 implies what you can see R3 just 2 is there right so you can make it r3 it is not in my plus it is a minus okay r1 minus r3 you can able to get 2 minus 2 0 3 minus 2 will be 2 4 minus 3 will be 1 and 7 minus 4 will be 3 okay that's what we got it and next one r4 you can see r4 also 2 is there r4 minus r1 so 2 my 2 minus 2 will be 0 3 minus 1 will be 2 1 minus 3 will be minus 2 4 minus 4 is 0 that is what we got it now you can see here the next thing i have to convert in second positions right so all it is minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 so use your second row to convert 0 for third row and fourth row second element what you have to do just you can add it it will become 0 that is what has done r3 implies r2 plus r4 so I can get 0, 0, minus 3, minus 4. And similar, R4 implies R4 plus R2. You can get 0, 0, minus 6, minus 7. Okay. You can just verify. Just to subtract, you can get it. The next one, what you have to do? Again, I have to convert this minus 6 also 0. By using, you have to use which row? Third row alone. So why we are telling like this means, see here, already you made it 0 of these two positions. 
right suppose you would use your first row what will happen these two entry also will come either you can add or subtract isn't it and similar you can use in second row also the second element again will appear so you can't reach your echelon form for that reason only we are telling remember with that positions in the row it will be easy to do the simplification okay the next one i need it minus 6 so minus 3 is that plus 6 means it is 0 right so multiple with 2 minus 2 it will become plus 6 then you can add it that is was done at minus 2 into r3 plus r4 will give you a new r4 so first three rows no changes the last row will be 0 0 0 1 so you can see all it is non-zero row but one more thing you should check the entry of non-zero row must be 1 the last is already 1 but remaining is that 2 minus 2 minus 3 what you can do first row divided by 2 you'll get 1 1 by 2 3 by 2 and 2 then second row will be minus 2 so 0 1 2 then 7 by 2 the next one will be minus 3 0 0 1 and 4 by 3 the last row remains same so now you can see a clan form is satisfied you can write a rank of a matrix what is the rank of a matrix it is 4 because all the rows is what is that it is a uh, non-zero rows and one thing you should remember the rank of r must be less than or equal to m we can tell it is a linearly independent isn't it so it's all it is linearly independent so that's all uh, thank you